We're still in the Windows Media Center here from the previous training video. If you get lost and you want to get back to the main menu, just come up here in the upper left hand corner and click on the Windows Media Center logo. And we're back to square one. Here I want to show you how to play a slideshow of your pictures and videos. And to get started, all we have to do is in the main menu here, click on pictures. Of course, if you can't see it, then again, put your pointer all the way to the top if you need to scroll up or all the way down to the bottom to scroll down. In the pictures and videos, we're looking at the pictures library. Go ahead and click on that. You got your sample pictures here. Of course, you may get a prompt that says that you want to add pictures to your picture library. You can go ahead and add them if you'd like or just click cancel. In any case, I'm going to come over here, click on the sample pictures, which has a list of all the pictures by default that came with Windows 7 here. Like you just saw here, hover over any one of these images to increase it a little bit or pull focus to it, or come up here and click on play the slideshow for all those pictures. And it's got a nice transition effect. It goes for so many seconds, then it pulls up the next picture, fades into it, and it kind of moves along. Of course, those cat's eyes are looking pretty freaky right now. I hope it goes to the next one. If it's not moving fast enough for you, then just go ahead and move your mouse a little bit and, and click the next arrow and click the next arrow. And you can keep advancing or click pause so you don't keep going through the slideshow if you want to focus on one. If you would like to listen to music while you're watching the slideshow, make it really nice. You can right click and it says play music. Go ahead and click on play music and it will try to find your playlist that you have. Of course we set that up in the Windows Media Player so it will pull a song from that playlist if it can find it. If you don't have any playlists set up then it just spins forever which I'll click cancel. In any case it will play the song while you're watching your slideshow here which is really nice. You can hit the escape key when you're done and it will take you back or move your mouse and in the upper left hand corner you've got your Windows logo that you can click on to take you back to the main menu or hit the back arrow in fact, we'll come up here and hit the back arrow so we're back to where we started here, our sample pictures. And then if you want to be able to manage your library here, just go ahead and when in doubt, right click, go to manage library. Let's go ahead and add folders to the library and click next. Where are the folders you want to add? Well, it's on this computer. Click next. Now I've got the exercises folder on my desktop so I can expand the desktop here and it's called the exercises folder. Let me select it. Let me come down here and check it. Click Next. Windows Media Center will search for the media in the following locations. So it's also going to search these folders. Are you finished? Click Yes. Click Finish here. Give it an update. And well there's my exercises folder. So now I can click on that and well let's play a slideshow. Isn't that fun? Let's go ahead and come up here and click Next. Next. In any case, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and click Stop. Notice it included the Fonts folder because the Fonts folder is in my Exercises folder on the desktop, so probably best before you add folders to your library here to make sure you don't have anything else in them, so that way you're not junking up your system here. In which case, if you want to go ahead and right-click and manage your library again, you can remove this folder here, but I'll go ahead and leave it. And then finally, one more thing is that any time during your slideshow, if you want to actually burn the images to your CD or DVD, again, come up here, just click play. Like I said, when in doubt, right click and you can burn it. Now, when you click on burn to the CD or DVD, of course, make sure you have your CD or DVD in your DVD drive, a blank one, so you can record to it. But keep in mind that this will only add the current image right here to be burned, but then it'll ask you for more later on after you come down here and if you have a DVD or CD to click burn. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and go back. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.